Hello there, and welcome to another one of these Lexical Lab One Minute English videos. If you like this video, make sure you check out our website, www.lexicallab.com, to find out more about our online courses. Our next door neighbours recently got a puppy. And before you start saying, oh, a puppy, it's one of those yappy little dogs that barks a lot and that you hear yapping away in the backyard. This morning, I was up quite early and my daughter came downstairs for breakfast looking a bit bleary eyed. I asked if she was OK and she said, not really, I haven't really slept very much because of the neighbour's new dog yapping away all night in the backyard. It's the bane of my life, that bloody thing, she said. If you describe something as being the bane of your life, you basically mean it's something that makes you annoyed and irritable and grumpy. So perhaps if you're a teenager, spots on your face might be the bane of your life. If you're a wheelchair user, carpets could well be the bane of your life because they're very difficult to navigate. They can trip your wheelchair up and throw you off balance. If you work on an airplane, if you're a member of cabin crew, accidental use of the call button, sometimes where you're trying to turn the light on or the AC on and you accidentally press the call button. This must be the bane of your life. And if you're in the public eye and you lead a very public life as some kind of celebrity or politician or whatever, then the paparazzi must be the bane of your life. They must cause you a lot of annoyance, misery and frustration. If you've enjoyed this video, please do click the like button. Please share it on social media with your friends, your students, your colleagues. And in the comments section below, we'd love to see how you might use the bane of your life. 